And welcome back once again to Everyman Driver. We're here at the Dirtfish Rally School in Snoqualmie, Washington at the 2014 Mud Fest. And with me, please introduce yourself. Tom Kretschmann with Toyota Motor Sales. And we are here in the 2014 Toyota 4Runner. This is the trail version? Trail version. Uh, this is the premium version of the trail. So it has all the goodies on it. All right, so he's gonna be with us and we're gonna go over some extreme off-road conditions, but first we have to do some uh, adjustments. So let's go ahead and put it down into low four, which you should be familiar with. Yeah. It's the reverse J there. So, so down, right, and all the way forward. There you go. Okay, now we're in low four. We're gonna go ahead and hit the terrain select for Mogul. So all we have to do, it's already set for it, so just turn it on. You just press the, the on and it should select the Mogul there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna, let's lock the rear differential and hit active track. I don't think we can be stopped now. Uh, just for, for education purposes, what is action track and, and, what, and what does it mean when we're locking the, the rear differential? Well, the active track, what it does is it watches for wheel slippage and it acts as a uh, limited slip differential, but it's electronically controlled. So if it sees a wheel slipping, mm -hmm. it applies brakes on that one and it will transfer power to the other one. Uh, locking the rear differential is just what it says. We're locking both rear wheels together so that they turn, they're turning, they not turning independently. Okay. All right, so ready to go? We're ready to go. We're gonna go, go at ahead. a fairly low speed. Yep. Partly because we're in the low four, it's, only, it's gonna limit our speed. And we have some plenty of cones, we've got cameras mounted, so you'll see everything we're doing and talking about. Now, there are only a few vehicles at this event that are allowed to go on this course, and what That's makes right. this vehicle so capable? Well, there's a lot of things. Some of the stuff we just talked about, the low range on the transfer case, the fact that we do have um, the terrain select uh, capability, lockable rear diff. And one of the most interesting features on this vehicle is the uh, KDSS system, Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. And what that does is it allows the sway bars to give the vehicle good suspension articulation over a course like this but we still maintain um, good anti-roll on-road. So we have that good handling dynamic on tarmac, but when we want to go off-road, we don't have stiff sway bars anymore. The system literally disconnects the sway bars and allows them to give the suspension good articulation. Okay. So this course that we're going on really allows this vehicle to showcase oh, absolutely. all we're that. Gonna, we're gonna hit some moguls up here that'll really s showcase that. You know, I love going on some slopes. I have an ORV park course that I go to and you can really tell how a, a car handles and how well it, uh, it's positioned itself on a slope. And that right there is a good example too, even though mm -hmm. we're high angled. Yeah, I heard about your ORV park adventure. Really? Is that people? There, there's, there was something I saw on the internet that, I don't know, turned the Forerunner into an icebreaker or something, I think. Yeah, it's it's shy, so I mean, you had to find a way to break the ice. So you're staying at an angle here, and I'll do a little bit better. There you go. Just kind and of then get back over this up. way. Yeah, real slow, you may hear the trailer hitch hit a little bit. Okay, so this one too. This is a really steep angle of yeah, approach angle. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it in an angle. So okay. Yeah, go for it, and then just kind of aim for that rock right there. Okay. Customer base wise, are do you know are you familiar enough with it on who are the people that choose vehicles like this? I mean, how realistic is this course in real life to the everyman driver? You know, driver? it's pretty rare that someone will take um, a vehicle like this on a course this extreme, but. Adventurous, you know, folks that <laughs> folks that are uh, wanting to take, uh, you know, go out in hunting areas or mm. kayaking or extreme mountain biking, that kind of thing. They're the folks that are really attracted to a vehicle like this. And you know, with its capabilities, you know, during the week you can haul the kids to and from soccer practice and comfort. Uh, if the snow hits, this thing is absolutely amazing in snow. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, on those rare occasions where you want to find that, that unusual fishing spot or whatever, it'll get you in and out of there. This is pretty darn good right here. Yeah. Because those are some deep 
Little, this uh, is that suspension articulation I was talking about. So I'm guessing I have a wheel probably up in the air. I think you might. Or, or I did. that sound before. Eh, it's a little trailer hitch. Is this the crown jewel of off-road vehicles for Toyota? Yeah, well, you could say that, but the Land Cruiser really is the crown jewel. Okay. But this particular vehicle has got almost everything the Land Cruiser has, other than the, the nicer amenities on the inside, it does have all the technology that the Land Cruiser has. This is the one model of 4Runner that, that has gotten um, the Land Cruiser um, high-tech off-road goodies, the electronic um, crawl control, the uh, terrain select, etc. That That's why this one is the most capable 4Runner we make right now, mm -hmm. as far as off-road is concerned. And when they do upgrades or they do a refresh, uh, those must be little minor adjustments each oops, each and every year, right? Because you can't, how much more can you really improve every you know, single it, year? It's pretty amazing. Every time they do an upgrade, there are there are changes that are made. We'll just kind of go with an angle here. Okay. So when you get over here, just aim for that rock. But when they, when they do upgrades like this, it is pretty amazing to me how they find new ways to just make this more and more capable. So just go straight and then we'll cut across like that. See, I'm really nervous when I go through ponds because, you know, it may look like it's shallow. You shouldn't be nervous. You got out of the pond. <laughs> this thing got you a back. This thing really does rock. <laughs> and roll and rock and slide. <laughs> so in through here, we're just another series of moguls. So just take it a little slow and you'll feel. The one thing I want to point out in this part of the course and even the, the moguls we were dealing with before is because that, that KDSS is working, we're not being tossed left and right. It's absorbing these moguls. Mm -hmm. And it's really um, behaving as if you have a dedicated off-road suspension. But when we get back on road and you take a turn, mm -hmm. the body lean is, it's minimal. It's, it's like you'd expect out of a, a, a more road-oriented vehicle. How about a little 101 on high-low versus uh Low, low, and low, low, low four, high four. Part of the reason I had you go in low four, there was two reasons. One, because of the terrain select for this particular one I selected, which was Mogul, mm -hmm. uh, it has to be in low four. The other reason is because it's a, a pretty technical course. I didn't want anybody going too fast. We had some folks this morning that oh. thought we could fly over it, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you did better than a lot of folks did, though. So yeah, the low four again, it's um, designed for maximum torque, especially if you're climbing. That's the gear you're gonna wanna have for if you're, you're taking a steep ascent or descent because you can use the engine braking going downhill and of course the torque to get you uphill. And that's the case where you can take your foot off the gas and it, it'll slow it down for you? Right, but what's more interesting about this vehicle is if we had a steep up or downhill, I would demonstrate the crawl control. The crawl control is really high tech because what it does is it manages your vehicle speed while going off-road. Because one of the challenges on going off-road is you're going along, you don't want to go very fast. Maybe you're going downhill, very steep downhill, and you hit a rock, mm -hmm. and it brings you almost to a stop. Now you have to take your foot off the brake, onto the gas, climb over the rock, and then really quick back on the brake where you have to two-foot it in order to get that vehicle to descend the hill safely. Well, with crawl control, what it does is it manages that for you, so you can spend all of your attention just on the steering aspect of the, the downhill or the uphill. Well, Tom, I'm going to pull over and let uh, some people pass us here. Thank you very much for uh, explaining the capabilities of this 2014 Toyota 4Runner. I love it, 
and uh, seems like the fans love it too. So thank you very much. All right, thank you.